Hello, I'm Introsium and this is Iron News Today. A game is pulled from Steam after the creator of the game threatens to kill Gabe Newell. Okay, so Paranautical Activity uh, came out on Steam a few days ago. Um, it was in Greenlight beforehand, and when it came out on Steam, Steam accidentally attached now an early access to it, which would have consequences for its sales. And day one sales and day two sales, these, these first couple of days are the vast majority of sales when you come out on Steam is is by far and away the most important time. It's it's so important because not only does it mean you know you get you must do sales then, but if you get sales then, then Steam ranks your game higher and Steam's algorithm puts it into more advertising, gives it more time on the store page, etc. It cannot be stated how important this is. So the guy was understandably a little bit pissed off, so he he started tweeting. And, unfortunately, he did silly things. Uh, right, so he started tweeting and he said stuff like, you know, Oh, Steam is so incompetent, they're fucking Monopoly, etc. Um, okay, that's, that's not great for someone you have a business interest with. I understand you're angry, but you haven't even, like, Steam, you haven't even Steam time and you have, you have a business relationship with them. A kind of a fairly formal business relationship. We're not talking suit and tie, but if you met Steam, then you probably would be. Um, and then he said, I'm going to kill Gabe Newell. He is going to die. So Gabe Newell is the you know, founder, owner. He basically runs Valve. He, he is Valve. Gabe Newell is Valve. Um, and the, the, the creator of Paranoid Activity, Mike Mulbeck, threatened to kill him because of this. So Valve saw this tweet and they said, we don't take threats, death threats against our employees lightly, we're terminating the relationship. And they, they closed down his Steam dev account and they took Paranoid Collectivity off of Steam entirely. Now, those of you who actually have it bought through Steam uh, in the, you know, the first couple of days, those of you who actually bought it, you still have Paranoid Collectivity, right? They, they haven't removed it from people's accounts. What they've done is stop it being available for sale, which of course is going to have fairly large consequences because the vast majority of games sold for PC are on Steam. It's gone beyond Monopoly. Uh, Steam is PC. It's so I like. I honestly, people keep going, yay! But no, no, it needs to change because it doesn't give Valve an incentive to actually do the changes that really need to be made or you know be pro-consumer. Um, but anyway, on different topic from that. Let's not get onto that one. If you're not on Steam you're pretty much dead. And the creator of Paranoid Collective actually said that they've sold 12 copies outside of Steam by the time Steam did this. Which isn't many. Um, so basically, the entire game's been effectively uh, ruined, killed off by Valve pulling it. However, death threats should not be taken lightly. Death threats are very, very serious. Death threats by someone who should know better against someone he has a very, you know, proper arrangement with. He's a very, you know, he has a business relationship. It's binding. It has contracts. There is a business relationship there and threatening to kill the guy in charge of the company just seems very, very stupid and wrong. Now, the guy has apologized-ish uh, and said that, you know, it's stupid. I don't think I've seen him apologize, actually. I think I've seen him say it was really stupid. Um, however, from what I can tell, this doesn't seem to be our character, him going a little bit off the handle from what I can gather from people. And this is a problem with the internet, right? You often get people being like, oh, I could kill so-and-so, they piss me off. Yes, right, that is the internet in a nutshell, but um, several things with that. Firstly, it's shouting into the void. People do that because they think there's no one on the other end, or at least they feel there's no one on the other end. Wrong! There are people on the other end. Surprise, surprise. And they will uh, turn off your Steam developer account. Now, the vast majority of people who do that sort of shit don't have these formal business relationships, which, again, is even more stupid on the part of the creative power of productivity. But it's still a death threat. I am going to kill someone is a threat. It's not, it's not a metaphor. It's not a simile. It's a threat to the vast majority of people reading that. It's a threat of you're going to commit 
quite a horrendous crime. So, even if you don't have a formal relationship with Steam, it's a dick move. No, it's more than a dick move. It's, I think, it might actually be criminal. Thre threatening to kill someone is actually a criminal act, I think. I mean, of course, no one's going to take it like that. No one's going to go quite to that extent. But you see the problem here is that no one should be making these crazy hyperbolic statements anyway that are over the top. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, literally, it's way too much of the response. And secondly, it's not shouting into the void. And thirdly, you don't actually intend to go through with it. So why say something as incendiary as that? Yeah, the person was angry at the time. I understand it. Um, you know, he, he basically had the entire game you know, somewhat dumped on by Valve at the time, and now Valve have decided to dump it even more by canning it. However, that doesn't excuse crazy actions like that, and there will be consequences if you, you know, shout into the void. Because it's not a void, there are people in there. Actually, there are several billion people in the internet. And if you have a formed business relationship with any of them, then it's a lot more likely they'll see your tweets, and they probably are going to take action, especially if you consider that you're actually advocating doing a crime against them. And not only advocating it, but saying you will yourself. So, to be honest, I know there are a lot of people defending the guy, because, yes, it's an extreme response by Valve, but when someone threatens to kill the guy who owns and runs Valve, it's understandable. So, hmm. So basically, Baron of Duty isn't available on Steam now, Probably won't be. I don't think Steam are going to change their policy on this one. And it seems like a fair response. It is a very big response. But it's it's fair, because you don't make such a stupid statement on the internet. Particularly when you have business interest. I'm going to Elysium. This has been Iron News. If you liked the video, like the video. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Stay shiny.